Hello everybody, welcome to Jim Jimmel Shave. Uh, I think this will be my midweek shave. And as you can see, I've got a fair old growth on there. Delibri I deliberately, deliberately, getting thrown to again. I deliberately grew it out for I am using a new razor. Yes, indeed. Razor for today is the Razor Rock Slock. Razor Rock Slock from Canada. Now just look at that, just look at that top cap. Look at the teeth there. Doesn't that look vicious? Well, I don't think it is. Raise Rock Slock. 316 uh, stainless steel, handle and head. I think it's just, well, it's, I'd say around 100 millimeters, top to bottom. I've not measured it, I've not checked it out. I should have done. It's a nice grippy handle. It's, uh, it's it puts me in mind of the Outlaw handle. It's just as grippy as that, but a lot less expensive. Let's just look at that. It's so ornamental, isn't it? It's not nice. Raise Rock Slock. Slock. I think it was a 30s, 40s design originally, uh, and it's that's actually an acronym, uh, Self Lubricating Open Comb. So, Self Lubricating Open Comb Razor. Open comb, you see the teeth on the edge here, on the shaven edge. You also see a double set of teeth on the top cap. The idea is the lava gets in there, and it's supposed to make the shave a great deal smoother self-lubricating so we shall see shall we let's see okay blade and button in today i'm going to use one of these as well it's going to be from the big ben from tegypt from tegypt as peter k would say so just going to remove the handle the uh the screw very very smooth it all feels good well machined well made is the top of the base plate again nice shiny polished stainless steel and here's the underside of the top cap. It's like a little comb, isn't it? Very nice. Okay, just gonna get the big bell out the wrapper here. There we are. The big bell, super stainless. Let's drop it out on the top cap. Thanks for comments from the last video. I'm, uh, I'm pleased I'm not the only one who has uh, Trouble loading the blade on the uh, oh, trouble line on the blade, blade, blade. Oh. And there we go. There's the blade in position. Really does look vicious, doesn't it? It really does. Right. Well, it looks good. Nicely aligned. And spiffing, shall we say? So for today. You know what? What a fool I am. I thought I've, I've taken the soap out of the soap. I've already lavered in the uh, my super duper sized lava bowl. I thought I won't need to take the soap into the den because I'll just show people the lid of the soap. <laughs> but I'm using loafer. The lids are the same. Whatever soap you have. Well, the UK ones. But fortunately, I got the aftershave splashing air with me. So I'm using loafer Namcar. Loafer now I'm caught. So that's the set I'm using today. Okay, what's a buffoon? Already whipped up, as I say, in my Seth Baxter super duper sized lava bowl. And the brush I'm using is the Yorkie Atlantic with the faux sand and shell inside the handle there. Lovely brush. Lava, just a little bit off white, got a little slight caramel tinge to it. So that's what I'm shaving with today. I'm looking forward to it. It's, uh, I do have the uh, the Yorkie Melon, which was kindly forwarded to me by uh, Sean Harter from over in Canada. He sent me that, and it was the first time I'd used it, a slot, slot style razor. So it'll be interesting to see how this compares. In fact, that could be the next video. I'll be putting the slock, razor hook slock, up against the uh, Yorkie Melon. Okay, just going to wet these whiskers. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. And as you can see, I'm in the own uh, den for a little change. Yeah, as there's a lot of whisker on here, I think I will use some pre shave soap, which is the Glyce, which smells damn awful, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's all the smell of limes. 
Hey, Ik doe het. Smell is horrible. And, you know, just bought it. I'm sure it's also see. I don't use, normally use pre shave. I think, what's the point, you know? Does it do anything? When you're putting soap on your face anyway, aren't you? You're shaving soap. So, I'm a bit skeptical, a skeptical when it comes to pre shave preparations. Okay. You got a good shaving soap. A loafer certainly is a good shaving soap these days. But sadly, I think production and distribution, I think it's all moved over to the, across the pond there, to the razor company. Because, uh, I did direct somebody to Johnny's website, Lofa, which was based in Leeds. And uh, the site seems to be down. Just gonna put some more water on that, just dipping the tips. Because this salt does take an enormous amount of water. And it's a very strong scented soap, this uh, Wolf and Lamco. I know when Johnny first produced soaps, the uh, scent strength was really low. And we had a discussion about it online type of thing. And he told us the reason why, down to uh, the UK reg regulations, laws, like companies in the UK. Ooh, actually limited. So how much. I think it's the cosmetics and uh, that type of thing. They're strictly governed. Oh, listen to that. That is sweet. It does feel a lot like the uh, melon, the yucky melon, but I think this is more aggressive. Take up my time, we're on the old chinny chin chin. Because I don't know if this thing has the uh, potential to bite me hard. This is definitely going to be one of my favourites, my, one of my favourite razors. This is going to make it into the top 11 without a shadow of a doubt. It's nice, it is nice. I got this from the uh, shaving time. Just before they put the sail on. Advertising that's uh, doing a thin season trading, so I didn't get the discount. <laughs> Very sad to see the demise of shavings now. Now this razor, doing a job, it's not mucking around, but it feels nice and safe, and wow, you saw the amount of uh, struggle I had on that first pass for us, and it's nearly all gone, of only one pass, and that's as sweet as a nut on the neck, that is nice. 
Where have you been all my life, Razor Rock Slug? Lovely. Just a little cheat there. I'm just showing you the slickness of the loafer. And the smoothness of this razor. So I'm just shaking all the slickness there and no irritation whatsoever. Of course the big bend blade, uh, a lot of people do like it, it is a, it is a favourite with a lot of people. And get him for pass two across the ring. There we are. Pardon me. How rude of me. I just uh burped. I am very impressed. Look out, I'm going over the same spot there. Just to show you, it's uh, no irritations whatsoever. As sweet as a nut. That's lovely. Very nice. Do you find when you've got a lot of uh, stubble to shave off? The shave feels a whole lot nicer. As you can see, got the dome to do. I thought it actually lava up enough. So. To shave the dome, but uh, I don't think I have. I'm gonna have to reel over. Lovely. Oh, that's just flying off. Whoops. Nope. <laughs> Read off from myself accidentally. I could shave this neck all day long here. As you know, it's most sensitive part to shave, but uh, get out of the woodies, no woodies whatsoever from it. Right, just gonna put a lot more water into this lava. This loafer, honestly, it'll take so much water, it's unbelievable. Just make that a little bit more, hydrate it a little bit more, I should say. But if they pass, spray with the old water. Nice. Like an ice ring on this face. Not the quickest sort to lava up the loaf, you do have to work at it. So uh, I'd say bowl lava it. Load 40 seconds, the brush from the puck. 
transfer it to your bowl. Just keep having bits of water till it feels right, till you feel no resistance on the brush. Yeah, PBA like consistency. That's when uh, that's when you hit the uh, hit the spot. Okay, against the grain. Oh yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not leaving the country for a little while now. Wow, that was so easy against the moustache. Yeah, I'm not leaving the country for a little while now. Tomorrow I'm with the Ukrainian army. The recruits. I'll be taking them around uh, local firing. Ooh, I can't believe this. I'll be taking them around local firing ranges. They uh, do keep an eye on them. They don't take them into. Uh... Well, they keep them very rural, I should say. Some of the lads are conscripts, and uh, they don't want to be there, and they don't want them to run off. So. <laughs> Poor buggers know what's facing them, don't they? Oh, that was amazing. I forgot to ride the cap here. Well, I shall do it now. This is a pleasure to shave I can't tell you how good it is. There's a thank you very much, Sean Arthur, for sending me the, uh, the Aki Melon. That's what pricked my interest in this uh, particular razor. I can't say one's better than the other at the moment, because it was, uh, it's been a few weeks since I shaved of the melon. Does that sound that? I shaved of a melon. There we have it. That neck. Ooh. Now it's BBS. Compl Spoke too soon. Now it's BBS. Right, show down for the rinse. Could be a while. It'll just take a while to rinse the loads off. There we have it. Feel better now after that shave. Much better. A little bit better too. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely made its way to my top 11 that. Which I will, uh, I'll have to do another video actually on the uh, top 11 DE razors in my possession. Okay. Now for the Namka, low fat Namka aftershave wash. Just got, got to give this a good shake. It's uh, like a silky, oily base to it. A little goes a long, long way. So uh, don't put much on. Good restrictor. So it's not going to come flea out. Got to give it a good shake, actually. Like uh, putting vinegar on your fish and chips. Oh, that's gorgeous. Silky. Nice silky feel to it. It smells better than the soap. More than happy with that. More than happy. Okay, just a little recap to do. Okay, razor for today. Brand new to me. 
was the Razor Rock Slock self lubricating open comb. In there, the blade we had, let's get the right way up, was the Big Ben from Egypt on its first use. Soap we used, well, I want to say the soap and splash we used were Lofa and Namka. Lofa Namka. Beautiful scent, beautiful scent. Soap was whipped up in my super duper sized lava bowl from the Executive Shaving Company in Glasgow. And the brush today was the Archie Atlantic, I think it's 24mm synthetic. And that fellas, it's that. So thanks very much for joining me. Uh, thanks for all the recent likes, subs, comments. I appreciate you all. Okay guys, enjoy the rest of the week. Stay safe. I'll see you further down the line. Bye now.